Hi, welcome to the uh, uh, arithmetic uh, uh, chapter, which is chapter three um, in our course. And today uh, we will uh, discuss division. And to start off, uh, let us um, uh, understand uh, some of the terminologies or, or just remind ourselves here. Uh, when we divide two numbers, uh, uh, typically uh, the number that will be divided is called dividend and the number that will be divided on is the divisor and the result of the um, division uh, is uh, the quotient and the remaining the remaining of the operation called the, re the remainder okay so let's just uh, take a quick example here and uh, suppose for instance I want to divide 145 divide by 13. This is a different example than your notes. Now that this is so that you have two examples here. If we do this, the, the simple uh, division, all right, uh, so we will get the, 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 the quotient, the result. Uh, now, of course, before that, this is the dividend and this is the divisor, okay? And uh, so we will get the quotient which is the result of the uh, 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 division 11 and the remainder equals 2 okay so that's what we that's not our our our, our focus here today w what we want to do today here is that to do the division using binary and uh, 45 is 1 0 0 1 uh, 0 0, 0, 1, and um, uh, uh, 13 is 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, and for the case of clarity here, so let's just make some, some, some uh, vertical lines here because we're going to need those as we go through the uh, operation and makes uh, tracing and tracking uh, the steps uh, a lot easier. Okay, now, uh, so let's use a, a red color here. And first of all, what we will do is that much, my, much like we have uh, done in decimal system in our elementary school, we take uh, four digits to divide them over these four digits. Well, obviously, these four digits, the 1001, is less than the 1101. So we place a zero here. Okay, then we move to the next digit here. So now we're trying to divide these group of digits, 100, zero, zero, one, zero, over 1101. One, one. And obviously this is larger, so we will place a 1 here. And then we multiply it with the divisor, and we get 1, 0, 1, 1. Then we perform subtraction. Obviously there is a 0 here. We perform subtraction here, okay? Let's uh, go with this, another step here with a different color. And the uh, uh, result of uh, this subtraction uh, is uh, um, obviously, uh, okay, so you can do this um, <clears throat> on the fly or you can take this number, uh, choose complement, uh, wh wh whichever you want to do. <clears throat> but um, ultimately, you will get here a one <coughs> zero <coughs> one zero <coughs> uh, zero, and then what we do? <coughs> we take down this digit. <coughs> excuse me, and we divide this number over the uh, divisor. And obviously, this number is less than the divisor, so we place a zero here, okay, right? And then we bring down a zero here, so let's, let's use a different color for the next step. Okay, we bring down a zero, zero here, and now we divide this number over the divisor. And obviously, the result is one, so we multiply the one by the divisor, so, so we can do the subtraction much like exactly we do in the in the um, in the uh, the uh, decimal system okay so let's do the subtraction here and get uh, uh, let's see different color here 
and uh, what, what I have here, the result of the subtraction is one, um, uh, one, one, zero. So if you, if you, if you do all the steps correctly, okay, obviously there's a zero here. And uh, then what we do, we bring down this one over here. Okay, so now we divide this one here over the divisor, and the result is, um, let's see. Okay, so this will be a one here, one multiplied by one, zero. Oops, sorry. I should. Uh, the, the divisor is 1, 1, 0, 1. And then let's take the remainder here. And the remainder is 0. The remainder is 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay? Now, so you can see here is my result here, which is equal 11. And my my co uh, uh, my my, my, the, my remainder here is equal to two, okay. And this is exactly what I have predicted. Now this is the long division that what I have, and there are other uh, uh, algorithms that that exist out there. But your textbook is presenting this as because it's one of the easiest ones for for uh, to, to to be performed. But there are in numerical method classes. Uh, other methods that are much faster and much more efficient. We leave this uh, topic for uh, a higher grade. So uh, now, uh, clearly, clearly, when uh, th this is being divided uh, by this one, uh, we get this is as the quotient, and we get this as as the remainder. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the lecture. Okay. Here is another example. Okay. Uh, which is it goes through the series of the division, dividend, divisor, and these are the steps. Okay, now uh, what we need here is um, we need uh, some kind of a hardware here. Okay, so here is the example I copied it here from the previous slide, so we can divide the uh, we can trace the the hardware. In this hardware, we need uh, the following registers. First, <clears throat> first register is the divisor which is this one here. And this divisor, <clears throat> now uh, recall that my data size here is 32. And in my examples, the data size is in equals four. So make always this, this, this uh, transition between what we explain in terms of examples and what we have in terms of uh, 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 hardware, because the hardware has to support what? It has to support MIPS. Um, this is our our class here. It, it's based on MIPS machine, which is 32 bit. So so um, uh, so uh, some some of students uh, sometimes they, they they struggle between this transition from our examples, which is typically small examples for bits, and when we build the hardware, which is typically 32 bit. Our examples always tiny because we want to illustrate the concept. So make this smooth transition between these are small examples and what we build in terms of hardware. So the divisor here will have a 64 bit. So almost like a size of 2n, where n is the data size. So what do we do with this in this divisor? Notice that this is a shift to the right, meaning that the data. So typically what we, what we, what we do, we initialize this divisor, the, the div, oops, sorry. The divisor sits in the upper half, okay? And the lower half will be just zeros, all right? So, uh, uh, and, and the question is, why we do that? Well, it turned out, if you look, if you go back to the, to, to the division problem, when we subtract the divisor from the dividend, it, the divisor really, we, we just subtract the, the upper four bits. We are unconscious that, that really what we are doing is that we are subtracting the dividend from a divisor and the divisor has these trailing zeros, but we don't care about them because we are limiting our math to just uh, these four bits. But in reality, the divisor has these trailing zeros, right? So that's what we do here. We place these zeros in the lower right of this register. 
Okay, so here in the in the upper half of the we initialize it with the dividend with I'm sorry with the divisor uh, because the divisor is just 32 bit, right? And and what do we do about the rest of the 32 bit? We, we place zeros. Okay, so this is the first register. The second register is the quotient where we are uh, uh, we are we are going to compute the result and bit by bit we are we we find out if it is a one or a zero and then shift it to the right. Okay, because because first of all we're gonna find this one and then this zero and then this zero and this, this. so so what we do we shift it the, the 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 one bit by bit the very first will be found this one and the very last is this one okay when we shift it to the to the left okay so uh, this is the quotient register and then we have what the remainder register of course the quotient register here will be initialized with zeros. The remainder register will initially uh, be, 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 be loaded with the dividend. So it will ha this dividend will be placed in here. And obviously the size of it is 64 bit. One thing we, we, we uh, probably didn't mention in the previous slide that the dividend side is 64 bit. So we typically divide 64 bit number on a 32 bit number. And the quotient is a 32 bit number okay and the result uh, uh i'm sorry or the remainder is 32 bit number okay so it's important that the dividend is 64 bit and that's why we have a 64 bit here okay so how do we run the algorithm so let's uh, choose a different color here uh so so let's run the algorithm so initially we have this remainder here uh, houses or uh, uh, saves the uh, the dividend so the dividend is here the dividend is here okay and the divisor here so what we do initially we do a subtraction we subtract what, what by what we subtract the dividend minus the divisor with trailing zeros okay if the subtraction result is positive meaning that the dividend is greater than the divisor then the quotient result we insert or we push a one in the quotient we shift a one in the quotient now on the other hand if the result of this subtraction okay which is the dividend minus the divisor is negative then what we do we push we shift a zero in the in the quotient okay because we are unable to do this division at that step and we do restore restore what we add back the dividend okay to the alu because we are we were not supposed to do that subtraction that subtraction was really uh, incorrect because when when the dividend is less than because this is uh, this is happens when we are getting these zeros we, we are we are doing a subtraction where we are not supposed to do a subtraction so what we do we compensate by adding back the dividend okay now then what then we shift the divisor one to the to the right okay and that makes the number of trailing zeros reduced by one and then we repeat the same subtraction then we check if the subtraction is, pu is, is is positive, we push a one in the quotient. If it is negative, we push a zero and then we restore the result. We continue performing this step in times until all these trailing zeros disappear. And in, at the end, what you have, you will have in this divisor reg uh, uh, register, you will have a, uh, zeros on the upper uh, left and the divisor in the lower right and you will have here the quotient value and in the uh, 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 remainder register here you will have the remainder for the division so it will take you in steps and that's why this algorithm is a slow but simple okay so here it, it, let's go back in, in this register the divisor finally we will get the divisor shifted all the way to the right. The quotient will have the quotient result and the, the remainder will have the remainder of the division. Now let's, let's explore a, a more uh, aggressive algorithm 
okay where much like we have done with the with the with the, with the uh, multiplier uh, uh, which we have optimized in the uh, assignment for exam if i ask you about uh, just a divider you will you you typically your answer will be this divider same goes for the multiplier but when when i ask about optimized divider or optimized multiplier then you have to your answer has to be the optimized multiplier the optimized uh, divider so let's see what what is the deal about this optimized divider and we're going to explain it overall we're not going to go over the details of the steps uh, the very first thing about this optimized divider a, a divider is uh, first of all the divisor in the previous one was 64 bit this is here 32 bit big win big saving in area and big saving in area typically is reflected to or in big saving in power big saving in energy the alu here is 32 bit where the area in the previous divisor a uh, divider is 64 the area of the alu much smaller here okay what else uh, the remainder 64 bit and 64 no win here in fact uh, this is a little bit more complicated uh, 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 shifter because we have to do shift right and left but one thing here is the quotient register is not present here while it was present in the previous uh, divider so no quotient 64 bit register has been saved so substantial area saving substantial area which is reflected in a substantial saving in power and substantial saving in energy and that's why uh, uh, you would you would you would consider this whenever you implemented hardware of course if you if you if you if you are giving the choice for uh, uh, other algorithms you have to consider those as well but if you are limited for this type of iterative algorithm you would go for the optimized divider so let's see how this is being initialized initially um, you would place your dividend here okay and your divisor here then what you do is that you will apply the math on the upper n bits which is here the 32 bit the upper 32 bit why just the upper well first of all you have an alu which 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 can do only 32 bit uh, operations and therefore and, and the divisor is 32 so so you pick the 32 the upper 32 and then you do the subtraction and you do uh, the, the normal checking if the result is uh, positive then you push a one for the quotient all right uh, uh, or a zero or a zero uh, uh, in this register notice this shifting of, of, of left and right here now uh, so so that's the uh, that, that that allows for the correction if the, uh, uh, the the result of the alu is negative then you restore okay and then you apply uh, the, uh, the, the the steps again uh, and, and uh, you continue with this shifting and, 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 and at the end of the algorithm what you will get is that you will you will uh, see that you will have uh, uh, the, the the quotient in the lower uh, 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 or in the right side of this of this register and the remainder and the remainder in the left side of this register here is the quotient and this register. and this is how they saved the quotient register remember th there is no quotient register here so this register here is almost have multiple usage for it okay so it it houses initially the dividend and finally it will it will it will save the the remainder and the quotient at the end of the division okay all right now in terms of mips uh, uh, instructions uh, we have uh, uh, div and div unsigned okay and whenever you apply so let's say for example you do div um, uh, s <clears throat> just take a second here so uh, when we divide uh, uh, this instruction so, so this divide uh, divide um, uh, let's see s1 uh, s2 uh, okay so the result 
of this or the quotient of this operation, which is um, uh, S uh, register S1 divided by register S2, the, the, the uh, quotient will be in register LO low, and the result will be in, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the remainder will be uh, in register high. Now I can move these, these uh, uh, values from these registers uh, uh, by, by using these instructions. Okay, move high. So for example, let's say for example, I want to divide S1 divide by S2, okay? And I want the remainder to go, the remainder uh, uh, to go to uh, register T0, okay? So the remainder, the remainder, uh, uh, send it to register t0 so what do i do i say div okay this is unsigned uh, this is i'm sorry signed division okay and then but s2 and then what we do is that we say add okay register zero okay whoops uh we will let's not get there let's not get there we, we, we say move we don't want to do this. We say uh, move um, uh, high, okay, to register T0, okay. So that that will move. Well, I was doing the the, the add up. Uh, the, the, this the move that this. So this is basically what I'm doing here. I'm doing the division and storing the remainder in register zero. Okay, uh, uh, with that, uh, we conclude the uh, discussion of the division and MIPS, uh, both from ter in terms of instructions and in terms of uh, hardware implementation. Okay, and then the next topic will be uh, floating point. Thank you very much.